so the first term that we are going to learn here is wavelength <coughs> and wavelength is an interesting phenomena in context of waves and of course we learn it in a different way the first wave that you see here is a simple transverse wave and if you see carefully these points are called crest and these points are called trough so for a transverse wave the wavelength is defined as the distance between two crest points or two troughs or we can define the wavelength in another way as it is the distance between <coughs> two points which are in phase with each other if you see carefully point 1 and point 2 they are in phase with each other the next question arises here is how we can say that point 1 and point 2 are in are in phase with each other if you see carefully <clears throat> the point here and point here they are located at the same position and they are doing the same thing doing the same thing nothing but what the wave here is going down and here also going down so the wavelength in this case is more but the wavelength in this case is less now we can define this wavelength for another wave the type 2 is stationary wave so wavelength in this case is the distance between two alternate antinodes or two alternate nodes we won't say the distance between two successive antinodes or two successive nodes but this is the distance between two alternate antinodes or two alternate nodes so in this case the wavelength here may be more and here may be less so this term wavelength can also be defined for the type 3 longitudinal wave so in a longitudinal wave the wavelength is defined as the distance between two successive compressions or two successive rarefactions so in this case also the wavelength sometimes may be more just like this or sometimes it may be less just like this the second term that we are going to understand here is frequency for the clear understanding of frequency we are fixing a gate over here and we are allowing these two waves to pass through this gate for one minute if you observe carefully you will see that more number of cycles will pass through the gate for this wave and less number of cycles will pass through for this wave you can have more clear understanding of frequency by looking at another example of stationary wave as in the previous case if you fix an entry gate over here then for this wave more number of cycles will pass through the gate so this wave is said to be more frequent and the frequency of this wave is said to be high and for this wave less number of cycles will pass through the gate so the frequency of this wave is said to be less so guys could you please tell me in which case the wave is more frequent and in which case the wave is less frequent of course this wave is more frequent as there are more number of compressions and in this case only there are three compressions so now we are going to relate the two concepts that we have discussed so far that is wavelength and frequency so in the earlier case you have seen that this wave is having less wavelength and this wave is having high wavelength so as the wavelength goes on increasing from smaller to higher the frequency goes on decreasing from higher to smaller so in this case they are related by the equation that is lambda is inversely proportional to nu nothing but the wavelength is inversely proportional to the frequency it means that as the wavelength goes on increasing the frequency goes on decreasing you can understand the frequency wavelength relation more clearly by looking at another two examples of stationary wave and longitudinal wave as you see this is a wave of smaller wavelength and this is a wave of higher wavelength so as you go from this wave to this wave the wavelength goes on increasing but the frequency goes on decreasing in the similar manner this is the wave of smaller wavelength and this is the wave of higher wavelength so as you go from this wave to this wave the wavelength goes on increasing as you see 
but the frequency goes on decreasing. Now, the next term that we are going to define here is amplitude. So, basically, amplitude is the maximum displacement of a particle from mean position. And it is indicated by capital A. And apart from wavelength frequency and amplitude, there are other terminologies just like crest, trough, node, antinode, rarefactions and compressions which we have already discussed in our first video. Now we will move towards our next concepts. In the beginning of this video, we have learned that the frequency is nothing but the number of cycles passing through a given point in a given time or the number of cycles completed in one second is also called frequency. At this moment, we can define one more quantity associated with waves is time period. So basically, time period is the time taken for one cycle to pass through a given point. So time period for this cycle may be less as this cycle is smaller and the time period for this cycle may be more as this is a bigger wave. At this moment we can relate the frequency with time period. If you see this wave is having more frequency but less time period. If you see this wave the frequency is less but the time period is more. So they are inversely proportional to each other as the frequency increases the time period decreases. Now we are going to define the very interesting quantity associated with waves that is wave number indicated by k. The wave number gives an idea about the number of cycles present in a given distance or unit distance. So if you see carefully for this wave the number of cycles present in this 1 meter may be less but number of cycles present in 1 meter may be more here. So as bigger is the wavelength less number of cycles will be there and smaller is the wavelength, more number of cycles will be present in the given unit distance. As you can see here, lambda is more but k is less for this wave and lambda is less and k is more for this wave. And this wave number is related with wavelength as k is equal to 2 pi by lambda. It means that they are inversely proportional to each other and it is measured in cycles per second. Now we are going to discuss the last and final topic of our video that is phase. So phase is used to describe a specific location inside a cycle of a periodic wave. This is how a periodic wave looks like which is traveling towards right whose first cycle is starting from point A and ends to point G. And let me repeat, the phase is used to describe the specific location within a given cycle for this periodic wave. Now let's talk about the points which are in phase and the points which are out of phase. If you see carefully, the point A and point G, they are said to be in phase because they are located at the same position and they are doing the same thing. As you see, point A and point G, they are located at the equilibrium position and at point A, the wave is going up and at point G also, the wave is moving up. So, point A and point G are said to be in phase with each other. But, if you see point A and point D, at this point, the wave is moving up but at this point, the wave is moving down. So, they are said to be completely out of phase with each other. <clears throat> now, what about point B and point I. Definitely they are in phase with each other because at point B the wave is going down and at point I also the wave is going down. And now let's talk about the point F and point I. At this point the wave is going up but at this point the wave is going down. So they are completely out of phase mean the phase difference between them is 180 degrees. 
वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग केस इज टू फाइंड द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन द पॉइंट्स बी एंड डी एंड द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन जी एंड आई सो गाइज कूड यू प्लीज गैस वॉट इज द फेस डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी एंड डी एंड जी एंड आई ऑफकोर्स इट इज नाइंटी डिग्रीज 